I'm Tom Zeller of the New York Times and welcome back to our new old house. We had an energy audit done on the house and we decided to have the contractors come out and fix a few of our efficiency deficiencies. We can't afford all the things they suggested, which included everything from big ticket items like wall insulation to specialty items like a fireplace pillow, an inflatable device designed to stop leaks through the chimney. It all would have cost upwards of $10,000. But we can afford some of the less expensive improvements that should start making a big difference right away. Like a lot of older homes, ours is drafty. We saw evidence of how bad it was when our energy auditors depressurized our house with their blower door fan. We had air rushing into the basement where the house frame meets the foundation. That dollar's going out the door. <laughs> so we started by stopping that flow of cold outdoor air into our house. It's what contractors call air sealing. What you want to do is seal your living space off. So we cut off that airflow. That's going to make everything else work better. It's going to keep the heat in your house. It's going to keep, um, it's going to make your insulation work better. It's going to save you guys money at the end of the day. Our contractors estimate that all of the leaks in our house add up to the equivalent of a six foot square open window. We're having that window of escaping air sealed up with caulk and foam. The air ceiling cost about $1,100. But we should make that money back in energy savings in just over three years, according to our contractors. Once we air seal everything completely and make a nice tight air seal in your home, we're now gonna insulate your attic. Because your attic is actually, you're gonna lose, four, you're gonna get 40% of your savings by doing your attic alone. Okay? 40%. 40%. Wow. Okay, just like and that. we're heeding our contractor's advice to fix up our leaky attic right away. We're having all of our old insulation removed, any gaps and holes sealed up, and we're getting a 10 inch thick blanket of blown cellulose insulation added to our attic floor. The insulation is made from shredded newspaper and it's treated to resist fire. Which will be a wonderful insulation that will keep the heat in the conditioned space and the cold from penetrating and uh, making the Zella family more comfortable. It isn't a cheap job. Our attic cost about $2,300 to fix up, but we can already feel the difference. Attic insulation jobs like ours usually pay off in about five years, but because our attic was in such poor shape to begin with, we may see it pay off even sooner.